What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to our first episode of Live from the Nest podcast. Now, um, this is going to be our first episode. It's a special episode. Um, we working out of a charter school in the Bronx, Dame Dash Studio. We got some great uh, students in here that's going to share some knowledge with y'all. We also have a special type of school here in the Bronx, Farrah's Academy, where we teach students to, you know, be leaders themselves and, you know, take advantage of opportunities like this. So I'm proud of all of the young ladies in here today. Uh, without further ado, let's just go around and introduce ourselves and maybe, like, uh, share one fun fact about us. Hi, my name is Sadatu, and what I like to do is chill. Like, chill. Hi, my name is Miriam, and one fun fact about me is that I like to chill and listen to music. Hi, my name is Damaya, and one thing I like to do is chill and hang out with friends. Hi, my name is Paige, and one fun fact about me, um, I like to, you know, go out, have fun, laugh, you know, enjoy your life. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. And me, I am uh, Mr. Neely, <laughs> and one fun fact about me is I like to make music, all right? So um, we always get started with like a would you rather. So let's just go around. I'm going to throw a would you rather question out there. And then you guys tell me which one would you rather and why. All right. So the first one is, would you rather be rich or famous? Okay. I'd rather be rich because then I could like um, travel around the world and do like a lot of things and experience like real, like life and stuff. And But being fam the reason I don't want to be famous is because like... Too much people is, like, obsessed with you. Like, you don't get, like, your own life. You don't really get, like, your, like if you're a kid and you're famous, you don't get that childhood that you want to have. Like, a lot of people. I yeah. would want to be rich so I could help my family out, help my mom out, yeah. get out the Bronx, you know, start a new life. And, you know, like, the Bronx is not really a good place to be in because, like, you got to stay on point all the time. And um, being famous is a lot. Like, there's a lot of responsibilities. And you got to always watch out and, like, um, try to save, like, help your family so nothing happens to them. So that's why I would want to be rich. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would rather be um, rich because being famous comes with too many responsibilities. You know, you can't, like Miriam said, you can't really live a life you want to live. You know, you have to always watch over your shoulder. But, like, me and Rich, I can help my mom out, you know, help them out, you know, be proud, make my mom proud. You know. yeah. Nice. I'd rather be rich um, because, like, if you be famous, then you don't have, like, you don't get to live a life. Like, everybody's going to be following you, want to take pictures, like, going to the grocery store. A lot of incidents could happen. And, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, one more. So, would you rather stop time? Or go back in time, like stop time right now, and we just stay in this moment forever, or go back into time, maybe when like you was a baby or years before even your time. What you think? I think I would go back into time because your past determines your future. So you know you could go back, fix up things, and then relive. You know? Nah, I would love to go back in the past. Like sometimes I'll be sitting and I'll be like. I'd be having flashbacks and be like, what was I doing? Like, don't go back in the past and be like, yeah, don't do that. Okay. You know? Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, I would like to go back in time because I could fix, like, all the mistakes that I have done before, you know? And, like, maybe something that I have done I want to fix, like, probably, like, a relationship with somebody that you have, so. Okay, okay. Um, For me, I think... I would, I would probably want to go back in time, too. Um, I, I share with y'all in the classroom sometimes. Like, when I was younger, I used to get in trouble in school. Um, and I used to, sometimes my mom would be upset at the things that I was doing in the classroom. So if I would go back. And now that I know how important uh, school is and how important making the right decisions is, especially from a young age, I would just try to, I would just try to do things a little bit different. And, like, I used to play basketball when I was younger. Um, I didn't take it as serious. I probably would like take it more serious also. So going back in the past is always cool to change some things if you want to. But some people say they don't like to change things. They want to like, you know, they just keep moving forward. Um, so the next part, this part of the show is called community awareness. You know, um, 
making sure and being aware of our community is something that is big here at Fair Rise Academy. We want to make sure that you guys are community leaders. Before we even get started, what is community? I feel like community is like your neighborhood, like the people that live surrounded by you. Okay. I feel like your community, like somebody you can count on, you know, when you need somebody. And like when yeah. You're here. Yeah, like what Paige said, like that's someone that like has your back that will always be there for you. Like you have their back and they have your back. Like you always count on them when you're down. If you could change one thing about your community, what would it be? Gun violence. Yeah. Okay. Because there's a lot of violence in the Bronx <clears throat> too. So like, um, like gun violence because a lot of people now and days, like the young kids are like shooting and doing a lot of things. That's true, and I, I see that a lot in the Bronx as well. You know, um, I grew up in Harlem, but I also lived in the Bronx as well. And um, when I was young, my father got shot and killed, so gun violence is a big topic for me as well. So I definitely think that um, if it's one thing I would change about the community, it would also be, you know, making sure that everybody put the guns down. And if people do have conflicts, I understand that, but there's other ways to go about Solving your conflict Like can we share some ways That we can solve conflicts Other than You know like fighting And guns and stuff like that Talk it out mm. yeah. Like yeah. talking it out You could talk it out And y'all could solve Y'all issues And gun violence Or um, Your hands physically Is not really a good idea Cause You're not gaining Anything out of it Right Except jail Yeah and mm -hmm. all you really doing Is really just hurting That person's family Cause now that person's family Is like sad Cause now they losing Another member in their family Right. Yeah. I feel like you're breaking up happy homes. Like, you know, like young kids is dying for no reason. Like, they say they get caught in a crossfire. They was not even supposed to be there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, thinking about that, would any one of y'all, like, want to become, like, a community leader? No. Yeah. I would not want to be a community leader. Why not? Because you got to, like, it's like anytime something happens, like, in your community, you got to step up. And, like, create protests and stuff. And, like, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Like, it's just too much work, you know? Like, you got to yeah, do too much that. stuff. Yeah. yeah, I agree with Sadatu. Because, like, being a community leader, like, everybody in your community will depend on you mm -hmm. to do stuff. Oh, to set up protests. And it's too much responsibility because, like, you have other things going on in your life, like school or job or anything else. So Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, all right. Juggling a lot. Yeah, I feel like it's too much responsibility. You're always going to be helpful. It's like if something goes down in your community, you're going to be accountable yeah, for Yeah, they're going to blame it on you. Yeah, like, because now all that, because like, now they're counting on you to make a change. So it's, like, a lot yeah. of work to do because it's a lot of planning. And change, like, it takes really, like, a lot of time. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I do think it's important that, you know, um, we do become community leaders like even for me i became a community leader just because most people don't want to do it because it is hard work like even being a teacher right now it's a community leader because i'm helping you know students that look like me and uh, come from similar backgrounds and situations as me move forward and that's what it takes like we all should try to inspire each other and that's what can make our community better all right yeah. so let's talk a little bit about motivation um here's this quote i want to see what you guys think about this quote you never fail until you stop trying. What does that quote mean? I feel like that quote means, like, you never know what's going to happen until you try. So don't just give up. You know, try what you're going to do. Yeah, like, you may be right now, like, low, like, you think you're about to fail. But if you probably keep going, you're most likely going to succeed. Like, yeah, yeah, I agree. You know, a lot of people love to give up on life. And especially New York kids, you know, like they give up on life and they end up in things they don't want to be in. But, you know, you got to just move on with your life. And I feel like if you keep trying, you'll succeed, you know. Hey, 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 don't, don't, don't come at the uh, New York kids like that. Nah, we all New fault, York kids. <laughs> we all, nah, I, I get what you're saying. I respect yeah. your opinion. Um, yeah, that's true. But it, it, so the history of New York, I want you guys to know, like, this is like one of the big cities. Like, people come here and travel here all the time to chase their dreams, to try to get on TV or make it in music or, you know, get opportunities. So I do want you guys to realize that, too. Like, as you get older, you'll see that New York City is, like, one of the places to be. Like, New York, um, California, L.A., um, Miami. There's certain places, like, like here that people love to come to because this is where we dream big. So I always want you all to remember that. Nah, but what true. motivates y'all? Let's go around. I feel 
for like my mom, you know, my family, yeah. trying to help them succeed. That would motivate me. That's what keep you motivated. Yeah, yep. yeah. My yeah. mom, my mom keeps me motivated, um, a lot. You know, she gives me talks all the time to yeah. not end up being a bad person. Mm-hmm. Like, be a good person. Don't be a follower. Always be a leader. That's great. Yeah, and I thank my mom for that. Salute. Um, yep. I feel like, yeah, my mom, like what you guys said, and my sister, because she literally, she gives me, like, a lot of speeches about, like, real life and stuff. She be telling me, like, life is really hard, so you got to keep trying and everything. And my mom was always keeping me, like, on work, like, every single day. Like, get your work done and everything. So when I grow up, I can have, like, a good life. Mm. I like that. Yeah, I also want to say my teachers, like Mr. Bailey, yeah. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Cameron, Mr. they give me talks on real life, you know, yeah. you know what I'm going to encounter when I grow up. Yeah, like they motivate us, like not only family, but like teachers, like people that you're around with motivate you, like influence you to do things. That's cool. Like even for me, um, something that keeps me motivated is like even people that are not doing well, like I grew up. You know, well, when I grew up, I seen a lot of people, like, doing uh, bad things and stuff like that. And sometimes that was my motivation, you know, because I was like, man, I don't want to end up like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to do things like that. I want to see what it's like to be happy. I want to see what it's like to just, you know, have fun and be, and be positive. Like, you guys talked about your mom. That's what motivated me, too. I wanted to see what would happen if I don't make my mom sad or crying and stuff like that. Like, how, what can I do to make her happy and be proud of me? So, that's all. That's always cool to uh, motivate your family and stuff like that. Um, so a little bit. What can teachers and like uh, school staff do to keep you guys motivated? Because it's really all about you guys. So what can uh, teachers and school staff, not just here and schools all around the world, like what can what can we do to make sure that y'all stay motivated and want to do the essays and the hard work and stuff like that? I think like they should have talks with us. Like, cause we're mature now, and the more we get it older, the more um like talks we need, like conversations about motivation and stuff. And like, right now we have a a dean that actually like helps us, like and guides us through and keeps us um. Shout out to Mr. Like, Diallo. Mr. Yeah. Diallo, yeah. Salute. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's like, really a good man. Like he helps us, and like whenever we're struggling, like he gives us our comfort. Yeah, he does yeah. not like. He does not tell you, "Oh, this mistake." Oh, I'm gonna call your parents and this. He yeah, actually he talks it out. He talks you. to you. He tries to like comfort you, make you comfortable with him yeah. to like talk and have conversations, mm-hmm. and to like want to know what's making you feel upset. So that so, so one thing you. is like having supportive adults. Yeah. yeah. All right. What else? What else? I feel like we need more opportunities. You know, because all they want to do is start just yelling. You know. And I feel like that's not healthy, you know, that's not right. Yeah. They yeah. don't even let us Cause talk. Because a lot of... And remember, we're talking about in general, like, yeah. not we're not yeah, talking not about anything in, 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 in particular. We're talking about, like, what can schools and uh, staff do to keep you guys motivated? So let's keep it on that. Like, yeah. Yeah. what can we do to keep you guys motivated? I feel like they should be, like, have, like, the quote of the day, like, you know, have some, oh, do not give up. Keep trying to like catch for your like. Your career. I feel like that's so cliche. Like we need more creative ideas. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like what? So doing things creative in the um in the classroom. Um, having more supportive adults that you know talk to you guys in a way you know that you understand, and also a way that you know your feelings is validated. And then what else? Like what about some more fun things? Like kids all around the world gonna be watching this. They want to know. Like yeah. Make sure y'all say this. Like what you think kids want y'all to say. Oh, like, you know, have breaks, have fun, like, not only, because I understand, yes, trips. No, I understand school is, like, important, so you can Mm -hmm. be, like, successful, but, like, at the same time, like, being, doing work on top of work is really stressful, so, like, you're going to need to have fun, like. So, balance. um, Yeah. That's a good one, grand balance. Breaks, you know, because we're always working all this hard work, we don't get that much break, we want to get, like, a weekend Basically, like two days, and that's so a, gotta, and that's a good. Remember, uh, remember, I always talk to you guys about this in the class, and yeah. I never want y'all to forget that eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. So yes. although it, I know it does seem like it's a lot, but I just want y'all to always remember that, like five years from now, you will be done, and like life is a big break if you don't work hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I'm saying that in a funny way, like a big break. You don't you want breaks, but imagine that person that just sit on the couch. All day, no all way. month, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So this is just preparing you for the hard work. But well, let's um, let's jump into some questions. Before I'll uh, be jumping to the question part, do you guys have any questions y'all want to throw out there that we all could answer? Um, 
We could say. Uh, what you think? What you think? I think um like like what's like oh my god say um, uh oh too late no I <laughs> okay so I go fast people in the comments yeah, they wait and they like what's my, going on sorry, sorry so guys. like <laughs> what makes y'all wanna do like bad stuff what makes these little kids wanna start do violence like have guns does that make you look cool or something all right yeah. so let's talk about that so what 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 do what do y'all think um is the major reason that makes uh, kids, like, kind of start doing, like, negative things? I think yeah. probably their, like, mental illness or their past. Because their mm-hmm. past could give them, like, trauma. Like, what if they was not being treated good at home? And, like, they have so much anger in them. They're going to take it out on somebody or use gun violence and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, like, probably some people in school bully them and give give them, like, Stress and get them angry. And yeah. they might want to like do that to other people. Okay. Yeah, haters. I feel like yeah. really. Yeah. Because they mad that somebody else is successful, so they want to kill them. So they done. They out there. Judging. Yeah. Cause huh? you. I think people. Not um. I think people influence others. Like people. Oh, having bad yeah, influences. Having bad influencers. Like, Social like media. that's why you shouldn't always be a follower. You have. You always gotta be a leader. Mm. Because like, if this person sees this person doing something, they're gonna get motivated to do that. And like they want to be a bad like a like a tough person, but that's not really like the deal. You gotta be your own self. That's why it's definitely important, you know, to watch who you hang around because mm-hmm. the people you hang around, um, even like if it's not you in particular that's doing that thing, but if you hang around people who are not doing the right things, that's what anyone will associate you with. Yeah. So if I see a group of people far far down the block and they all yelling and screaming and, and you know carrying on, I'm gonna say. Those people over there is going crazy. So even though, like, Mariam could be a straight-A student, mm-hmm. and she's not doing that, but I'm not going to say those people over there besides her. I'm going to say all of all them right. over there. So it's important that you, you know, watch who you are around. Um, mm-hmm. So where do y'all see yourself five years from now? I see myself successful, you know, probably in college. Yeah. yeah. Money, you know. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like the same thing, like, what Paige said, like, I'm going to be successful right now, like, at that point, probably in college, you know. Trying to still um, keep like going with my career and stuff. What kind? Of, what would you study in college? I really wanna like. It's like a lot of things. Just throw one well, out there. Okay, so like I wanna be like a doctor, but like for surgery, nice. I wanna be a surgeon. Right. Well, you see yourself. I see myself in college. Okay. Studying uh, what? Um, pediatri- pediatrician. Pediatrician. Okay. Yeah. All right. Pediatrician. What about over here? Uh, I see myself being in college, like studying what I should do with my future, like what, sh- what job I should have, a career. Huh? Yeah. Trying to figure it out? Yeah. Okay, right, cool. In your opinion, all right, in your opinion, how important is like music right now? You know, I'm a big uh, music oh. person. I like music, and I feel like music dic- dictates a lot when it comes to, you know, young people. So mm-hmm. how important is music in your life right now? I feel mm-hmm. like music is really important, you know, because it helps us. Sometimes when we're mad and, you know, we can't express ourselves, we just yeah. play music. Mm-hmm. But, like, I feel like... Um, yeah, you so can go now. I feel like music is a good thing, but not a, like, but not a good thing. Because yeah. music sometimes influences other children to become who they are now. Like, like drill music, you know, like that stuff, like, makes other people, like, all hyped up and want to go shoot somebody or want to go bang somebody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. but, like, what she Stuff said, like that, like, and that influences other children to become bad people. And, you know, that's why I say music is good and not good. But music sometimes could, like, be a comfort zone, like, whenever you're mad. Like, what Paige said, like, you could listen to music and, yeah. like, make you feel better. What about What about social media? Like, do social oh, media yeah. influence kids to do positive things or do social media influence kids to do, like, negative things? Let's talk a little bit about social no, I media. I feel like um, social media is, like, in the middle because yeah. sometimes social media distracts some students from school. Like, mm-hmm. that gets some students be doing bad things because what they see at school. Like, some people be filming, like, you know, on social media. Like, I be seeing, like, TikTok. A lot of people, like, be filming, like, fights at school and they think it's fun and cool, but then... When they're right now, when they're like early, like few more years early, like I don't know how to pronounce like. Hey, ma'am, what would you watch? Somebody like bad, something bad, like a fight, or would you watch like a positive, motivational video? 
It's like that's what I'm saying. Like, you know what, what you, you want. Pick Miriam. <laughs> <laughs> a positive, you know, no, she a positive. No, lot. So wait, wait. Like but Paige, positive. Paige does uh, that's that's a good topic to bring up because I think we talked about that before in the classroom. It's like sometimes I often wonder, you know, why do negativity kind of grabs everybody's attention faster than a, than something positive? Like even some kids, like sometimes, <clears> like <throat> you could play some positive music and it's like, oh, what's that? But then you play some negative music and everybody dancing, yeah. or like <laughs> you could, um, like me and Paige is making a joke earlier, like. I could, I could start a video by saying, like, all right, guys, today we want to keep our heads up. We want to make sure that we're doing all the right things. And everybody be like, uh, yeah. But then I could be like, yo, what's up, everybody? We going crazy. Slap somebody. Everybody, everybody going like, to be, yeah, everybody everybody like, be hyped. Think, so why y'all think it's like that? A lot of people don't hype up positive videos. Like, it be mm. so boring. Yeah. When yeah. it's, when it's like, true. negative, it be, like, real hype. Like, sometimes like, the positive okay, videos like be really boring. Like, True, but yeah, like, really like there's boring. nothing like oh it's just positive whatever but like it was like a fight or something you'd be like yeah, oh like ding and then the crazy. generation too you know yeah he's yeah. so used to the like, gang mm-hmm. wise that drill and yeah. all these distant people yeah dance. that's so it's not really yeah, so. Not normal. So, it's not so can y'all give a message to all the positive people that want to like influence young people and they want to be they want to be lit they want to be like you know big influencers what can they start doing to get themselves more out there just be you like yeah. really just be you and don't let anybody like bring you down yes. yeah like yeah. be your own person always have like something that motivates you so like every time in the morning like listen to that so then you can never like what you call go down like make yourself feel bad I also right. think so like what will make us happy you know like make us want to be positive like think about the youth what we would want not yeah. just you more yeah. like that, like that. All right, and so you you know this show, I could I could already see it right now. Like this show is going to be like great. We are gonna have the best podcast in the Bronx. Yep. So y'all make sure y'all yep. stay tuned. Yep. We are gonna do one final question, and then we are gonna wrap up. Um, but y'all stay tuned because we got a lot more uh great things on the way. Um, so the 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 final question is, what? Would your perfect school look like? You know, like the perfect, like man, I can't wait to get to this building. Wait, I'm gonna say this, but like, there's no perfect school. Like, okay, for real, for real, like, yeah. there's <laughs> yeah. no purpose, perfect. Why school. you say that? Because there's always like, there's always that one bad thing. You may look, you can make the best school, right? But it's always the kids. Like, it's the way you the kids act. Like, I mean, students. kids okay. won't be kids. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't, you can't do, do nothing, nothing about, about that. Yeah. yeah. But right. I feel like everybody shouldn't be mad that kids is bad because they're just being kids. kids. Y'all want them to be so mature and grown. Yeah. They are acting grown. Yeah. Then it's always a problem. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah okay. You're going to have a couple of parents like, wait, hold on, Paige. <laughs> yeah. But no, no, that makes sense because it's like, even for me, like, I got a daughter. My daughter two years old. And even sometimes I catch myself, like, telling her, like, sit up or, like, you know, quiet down. And I'm like, wait, she's two years old. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. trying to, you know. But yeah. So that, that was a good point that you made. That's true. Yeah. So, but I, I feel like it's also balanced. Like, you know, as you guys continue to grow and be mature, you just have to realize that it's a balance between, you know, having fun and then also being mature, working hard, yeah. doing what you, you know, yeah. have to do to succeed. And that's what most of you, your parents want. They just want the best for y'all. I want y'all to do great. And yeah. it's because, like, how you talked about it, um, it is a little bit dangerous sometimes in New York City. And not just mm-hmm. New York City, in every city. So yeah. that's why your parents sometimes can be hard on you because it's like they just want the best for y'all. They want y'all to be safe. Yeah, I mm-hmm. understand yeah. that, but sometimes it be like they want us to be them. We're not y'all. We're different yeah. people. Everybody's yeah. their own. Or like, like they want more so. than like I'm like trying, but then they want more of that. Like I can't. Like I'm just trying. Like my heart is. Yeah. So like that's what I feel like. But I will understand why they want us to be better than them because probably they've been through something. Yeah. And you know they don't want that. It's, for the you same. to go that the, the same road, route. Oh, that's the same, same route, yeah. 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 All right. Some kids is hard headed. So. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, before we go, can everybody just give one word to all the people watching the show, or, or one like positive quote, or anything right. like something uplifting to everybody that's watching? Be safe. Stay motivated. Like it. Who um, <laughs> really just just have fun. Okay. Life is short. Um, enjoy life because tomorrow's not promise. Right. Yep, just be you and enjoy life. And there you have it, y'all. Live yep. from the nest. Yep. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.